Good evening. High pressure is still with us. Not particularly good news if you've got a water shortage. However, better news for sun lovers, because although it started off life as a rather cloudy high, as you can see in the satellite sequence behind me, we've got some good breaks developing in that cloud blanket now. The high pressure is actually centred just to the uh, north of us, and overnight tonight there'll be a, a small high cell developing over Scotland. Now that'll mean that we'll keep this northeasterly drift in off the North Sea, so some of those holes in the cloud will fill in overnight tonight. I think we could find the clouds thickening up enough in northern and eastern areas to bring a little bit of uh, drizzle in, but it's not going to amount to very much. And where the cloud remains rather tenuous elsewhere, we could have uh, a little bit of mist, perhaps even the odd fog patch before forming before the night is through. Now underneath that the more tenuous cloud, it could turn out to be quite a chilly night with temperatures as low as 6 or 7 degrees, but underneath the cloud sheet I think probably temperatures staying very close to uh, double figures. So starting off tomorrow, still rather cloudy in northern and uh, eastern areas, a slow brightening up process going on, but there will be parts of uh, the north and east that remain rather cloudy all day. Elsewhere, a little bit of brightness, a little bit of sunshine breaking through, probably the best of that sunshine across Wales and the West Country. And another feature of tomorrow's weather, that rather niggling northeasterly breeze that's been blowing across southern areas, making it feel quite chilly when it's been dull. Well, that won't be quite as strong as it has been recently, with the top temperatures tomorrow probably around about 20 or 21 degrees. Now, looking a little bit uh, further afield, this rather nasty-looking blob of cloud out in the Atlantic is an area of low pressure. That's moving northwards, and that will have the effect of intensifying the high pressure over us. So it's going to stay with us through the weekend. However, a weakening weather system will run around its northern and eastern periphery. So some thicker cloud moving in across northern and eastern parts of Scotland during Saturday, bringing a little bit of drizzly rain with it then. And then that cloud running down the eastern side of uh, England on Sunday. But I don't think that rain is going to amount to very much. And throughout uh, the weekend, the best of the brightness, the best of the sunshine across western parts of the British Isles. That's the forecast. See you later.